Hey, you got gamers, it's Luke, and I'm here with Jules Watchman, co-founder of Renegade Kid. Hey and we're gonna talk about... Hi. Bloods. Yes, we are. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. This game is so sick. Love this game. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So, when can we expect to see this on the Wii U? Uh, we are aiming for a May-June release this year for the Wii U. Nice. I've actually seen a lot of really unique things added to this game to make it even more challenging. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, no, yeah, it was a good opportunity for us to add new levels and new content to it. We kind of did that on the 3DS, you know, it came out with 40 levels. We did a free update, you know, last, last summer actually, uh, with the 20 new granny levels, uh, which is pretty hardcore. Uh, you had to beat the whole game to even get to those. So with this, we're like, you know what, we want to do the same thing. We want to add 20 new levels, but we want it to be a bit more accessible. You know, it's not not all at the back end. So we have, when you're in the level select uh, hub, there's a little mirror door in the center. And when you enter that, you go to a parallel universe, like a little ghost world. And then there are 20 new kind of ghost inspired levels there. Um, and the way they you could access them is, if a level is unlocked on the regular level select world, they'll be unlocked in the ghost world. So straight away, literally, you beat level one, there'll be two ghost levels you can check out straight away. But they're pretty they're pretty difficult. So yeah. whether you want to check them out straight away or not is up to you. I think hardcore players are like, yeah, it's great. You know, I can get some real, you know, hard levels straight away. And maybe more casual players will be like, yeah, I'll maybe get to those later, you know. But uh, you can check them out uh, as you go, which is nice. And what we did with those levels is there's a unique property where all of the enemies are now ghosts. So now your shots go right through them. Um, so the, now it's more of kind of avoiding them rather than shooting them, which is which is cool actually. Even for me, I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, this is nice, because you're kind of nimbly jumping around, going, ah, oh, you know, kind of like nearly getting hit by them and trying to avoid it. And now collecting the diamonds is even more interesting and challenging, because you're trying to collect them while avoiding this little inch mud that's going back and forth, and it's fun. So, and then beyond that, we're adding new uh, ghost enemies. Uh, throughout the levels and some of the levels will have situations where you may have three enemies that are going back and forth and you can't get past them without getting hurt so you're like well what's up with that uh, but nearby there'll be a ghost shot power up that you can collect and it gives you a, a limited ammo of ghost shots and you can use them obviously to destroy the enemies but the enemies will come back they'll respawn back and the power up will respawn back so you may get in a situation just like he did just them you may get in a situation where you may have to figure out the right timing of that to really get past that. Yeah. yeah. So, can we expect to see Granny in this game? Oh yeah, she's in it, all right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And all the challenges and extra DLC from the 3DS version will be in this? Yes, it has, it has all of the 60 levels from the 3DS and then the 20 new ones, the 20 new ghost levels, so it's 80 levels now. Yep. Now, is it true that checkpoints were added Yes, but you can turn them off. Nice, nice save. Yes, if you want to be traditional, you can just go off. If you want to be hardcore, go for it. Really, it's to try and allow casual people to not get too frustrated when they're playing it, you know? So if you want to kind of ease the pain a little bit, you can go, you know what, I'm going to use three hearts to get to that checkpoint, and have another three hearts to get to the other end. That's cool. Yeah. If more people can play it, that's good. But yes, if you want to be traditional, just turn it off and go for it. Okay. <laughs> yep. So, what was the process involved with bringing this title from the 3DS, which was a 3D game, to the Wii U, which uses the U gamepad? Well, we knew that the 3D aspect obviously wasn't going to be there, so uh, we added the, uh, the the blurry, the depth of field kind of effect, so if you get far in the background, the foreground's blurry and vice versa, so that's nice, and it just looks cool, honestly. Um, and the other thing that was important to us was, you know, you have the gamepad screen, you have the TV screen. We wanted it to be an experience where, if you wanted, you could turn on your Wii U, not turn on your TV, and you'd be just fine. Load up the game, everything works on that one screen, so it doesn't depend on two screens. Um, and that was important to us, so if you wanted that mobile kind of handheld experience, you can get that. You know, um, you don't have to turn your TV on. So that was the two main things for us to focus on, was the 3D depth and the, uh, the gamepad kind of support. Um, and an opportunity to add more content, you know? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. When we come back, we'll talk about the new ATV game. Awesome. Thank you.